Hey, Sneaky Linux back again today. Today we've got another different one. Now this is based on Arch Linux, okay? Makes it easier for you to use Arch, that's the old basis of the thing. So you'd have to keep updating your system all the time or reinstalling all the time. And it's called Nosonya or Nosonja. It's from Greece, okay? And it's actually quite good. It's not perfect yet, but I didn't expect it to be so. But it's usable, that's the main thing, it's usable. And it comes with some nice little features. So, a little Pac-Man down there going yum, yum, yummy, yummy, yummy. I've got my volume, my ethernet, and my clipboard. Chromium is your main browser here. Now, I've had a few problems with graphics or the X display, but I've got around them eventually, okay? Eventually. But again, it's still in development, so it's still new. Things are going to be sorted. On your desktop, you have your home folder. Should we open the home folder? Yeah, you got it in the center. We'll double click on the home folder. And there we go. Desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, blah, 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 blah. And everything else you would expect to, and that down there as well, and your network, and your trash, tra it's rubbish, it's rubbish, not trash, okay. And there's your rubbish, and a LibreOffice installer, it doesn't actually come with any Office stuff as standard, okay. But we'll come to that. Now, as standard, what are we going to do? Oh, by the way, it's XFC, did I tell you that? Yes, yeah, XFC. You get a terminal emulator, a file manager, a mail reader, a web browser, which I've said is Chromium. You get a software manager. Now this is a GUI for Pac-Man. And it's very good actually, I was quite impressed. It's not actually totally working correctly, it's super duper -y, but it works just about. And get stuff done for you. You get usual settings under XFCE. You can get compass settings out of the box apparently, so that's super duper, Bluetooth manager, and everything here that you may want to do so. Use AWM by the way, forgot to tell you that, didn't I? But then I've only just started. You do get Orage though. I don't like Orage, as your calendar and stuff like that, that's all right. And stuff like that. Under accessories, now you do get quite a bit, it's around about 700 megabytes download, so that's okay. Catfish, clip managers, calculator or calculator, HP printer manager, lovely. As standard, normally that's an extra for a lot of other distributions, so that's okay. You get notes and global time, due up a Pac-Man and yard, screenshot, take a screenshot. Software manager, we've well, already got links there in the main bit there anyway. The terminal, a file manager and Japan, okay. Under development, you get QT stuff, so that's really nice. Under graphics, you just get Mirage, okay? You don't get nothing else, just a Mirage. Under internet, you get your web browser, EMSM. That's a different one, isn't it? A lot of people use AMSN or Pigeon, but EMSN is here standard. You get internet uh, messenger, which I don't know what it is. Should we open it up and have a look? It might be Gimpy, it might not be. Oh no, what am I talking about Gimpy? I meant Pigeon, what an idiot that I am. But anyway, that'll do that for him. Normally stays open down there, but we'll quit that, and so it's gone. Gimpy. What am I talking about? What an idiot. What mine? It's in the morning. Anyway, under multimedia, it looks like you get Audacious for your music player. Now, I would change that straight away, personally, but that's just my personal opinion. But it does work, okay? Which is one of the main things we need it to do. You get a media player as well, which is VLC, and XF Burn. Lovely. Under Office, all you get is your calendar and global time. You get an Office installer, but that's about it. Okay. La 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 la. Computer Fusion icon, full system update, etc. Partition editor, which is Gparted. When you run it from the live CD, you get an installation icon and Gparted icon. Now, there's no root password, so you just double click on it and just click OK. Partition your disk, well, I would personally, because I couldn't get the auto partitioner to work in the installer. So I just done it manually, it was easy. We'll go to our process manager and we'll have a quick look here. As you can see, look, lovely jubbly. Not using much RAM, not much memory. Well, not much RAM, not much CPU, should I say. What am I talking about? Gotta need to go to bed. Yeah, works okay, hunky dory. Okay, back again when we go to system. And get your terminal down there again and the file manager, etc. Help about XFC. So I'll click on there and we'll just see what comes up. As you can see, it's 4.8 distributed by Arch Linux. So that's the only one from them. But the bit I want to show you was the actual graphical GUI for Pac-Man. So if we go to Software Manager, now I've actually installed this, so I've actually made a password, as you would do if I remember the right one. Yes. And as it starts loading, some, there are some errors. But it doesn't actually stop it uploading or doing some stuff, but it does affect some things. So I'm going to go to our Package Manager. So I'll click on him. It's updating our package list. I'm not going to do too much here, but I'm just going to show you basically how it works. Now, say I wanted to find Abbey Word, okay? For instance, because I don't want LibreOffice. Now, as you can see, 2.8.6 is here. You can highlight it. 
you pass it there and you want it to install and just click the tick bar like so but first he wants to do a no sonya update so should we upgrade yeah we're doing it so we click yes and it will do that first click yes again and it goes away and thinks about it for ourselves downloading this download 19.52 megabytes yes that'll do for me now what you will find here is the bar don't actually do, do anything at all to start with then so i'll basically just go away and do something else is easier isn't it really so anyway i'm gonna open up my browser while it's doing that because i'm like that it's just the way it is yeah okay bouncing bouncing we'll just choose google it's the third install i've done it on it by the way the third yeah the third long story but i'll go to work now okay up here we're going to put in no sonya no sonya i can't spell and we'll put linux on the end there as well i'm doing it in uh, chromium for a simple reason there's some stuff in greek here somewhere i can find it and i can't find it right now can i no because that's not the one i was there i've spelled it wrong again let's try that again take that out that's better there it is no sonya arch for linux bloody 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 blah yes lovely super okay we'll go to the page here which is linux in the side it's in greek so what we'll do we'll get it to translate it for us so translate just tells you a little bit about it etc 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 i have found trouble finding bits and bobs on it okay on any information but hey download it use it they have got a google plus page though yes they have and they've got a twitter page and stuff like that but not here obviously because this is the magazine so yeah it is there tells you all about it bloody bloody blah right that's enough of that that's our thing done yet already right now we were still waiting for it to do its bits and bobs so we could be waiting some time couldn't we yes we could but you know what we're gonna wait and see what happens yes we are i mean what else can i tell you about oh, see what i mean it's done all, all of a sudden so i'm gonna click done okay now we can install abby word okay so we go to abby word again and find the thing that'll do highlight click the plus and ticky the boxy yes we want to download them packages thank you very much and this doesn't take long at all as you can see nice and quick a bit of drinkage why it does that do this go off this stuff now <laughs> mm, orange squash <sighs> mm, do miss me cup of tea never mind there we go loading their packages installing everything so yeah, it's really really quick isn't it really really quick i'm liking so we click done and we're done we're all done now i could put the plugins in there but i'm not going to do it just yet i'm just going to show you how it works so we go to our menu go to office and it comes up as word processor so we click on word processor and there it is nice and super duper i likey 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 you can do whatever you want now you will need the plugins obviously if you want it to work correctly but hey i'm just showing you don't shoot the messenger now this is going to come on really nice if they keep this up whether it will be kept up i don't know but hopefully it will be now once they sort these little problems out it is an easy way into arts one of the easiest ones i've found so some of you may really really like it and some of you may not shall i give it a score yes no yes no yes no yes no yes no yeah i'm going to do what i'm going to give it 70 percent because it's on the way to being brilliant but it's just not brilliant just yet just a few little problems that need sorting out sneaky linux going out i say that as by the way